Queen City Supers. Our heroes met their mentors, got to test and show off the extent of their abilities. Glider had a bit of a rough start, but eventually she was able to uh, hit her stride. Scarlet Sentinel had an absolute blast with her mentor, is now actually excited to be here. And Kid Phoenix almost had a slip up, but tapped into that power again and was able to impress Sister Cinnamon. Of course, the real impressed moment happened afterwards when you spelled thank you with Cutlery and it looked really nice. And then after you all took some time to cool off, you decided to sit in on a lecture on great rescues, learned a lot, and then got a surprise challenge that you all did pretty well solving this mock example of villains who were attempting to rob a vault while also potentially attacking some other retired heroes. Which made up a little bit for the fact that Glider accidentally completely wrecked the professor's desk. You still feel a little guilty about that. And Scarlet got a little spooked by the thought that the more you're in the limelight, the more likely it is someone might discover who you really are. And Kid Phoenix felt bad because you hurt a friend. You, you hurt Goon Union. Yeah, what a great name. <laughs> He's a great guy. He's a great guy with a great name. He's several great guys. <laughs> He's probably one of my favorite NPCs we randomly come up with. Also favorite just because he's just so nice. And he's such a good guy. <laughs> Achilles is another favorite, but that's not Achilles. Hubris, not Achilles mm. Jr. Hubris. Yeah, different guy. Is another favorite just totally because different. I get to wreak chaos with him in the future. We haven't seen the last of him. But with where we left off, Scarlet and Kid Phoenix, you had decided you were going to take Glider out for some pizza and to go see your cat, because Glider needs a bit of a pick-me-up. So I think we left off with you leaving the Hero Institute. Stopping for pizza on the way there. You can order something in. That's a good question. Order something on the way so it gets there when you're there. So the bar beneath my apartment has freaking pizza. So we'll just call down. Oh, yes. I got that good slice. Yeah. Y'all talk about anything on the walk back to your apartment? Lider is definitely after... You know, after we talk a bit of, I'm sure we talk a bit about the caper we just foiled and how that went. And I'm just like, so that desk, that was just, that was not a, like his desk, right? Like that was just the desk for that uh, room, right? Like it it wasn't, he didn't buy, he didn't spend money on that. Uh, Right? It's a superhero school. Things are going to get broken. Yeah, I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure that's not the first time that that desk has been broken this year even. Yeah, and it should be replaced with a less breakable desk so that, you know, if anything, you did him a favor? Yeah, you did him a favor. Oh, sure, yeah, a favor by absolutely demolishing his desk. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, when you say it like that, it certainly doesn't doesn't feel as good, but yeah, it's kind of like that. It's in a classroom with new supers. Yeah, and there's, there's probably a storage room just full of nothing but tables and chairs for this exact situation. Oh, very likely. Probably. Yeah, absolutely. So where are we going? My place. Yep. <gasps> or civilian place. Oh, I mean, place. that's cool. And that's, I, <laughs> I'm cool with that. I make a big show of it. Like, yeah, it's the civilian place. No, like my face lit up when you said that. I'm trying to be, trying to be chill. <laughs> Very cool and normal here. Cool and normal. <laughs> How hard is Glider fangirling on the inside right now? So hard. Also, y'all walk so slow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> decided it decided specifically to be a hater about it. <laughs> 
keep in mind, you're prob you worked up quite a sweat in your test, so you're probably a little more tired, but also you probably bounce back pretty quickly too. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, we're walking and I'm kind of bouncing. I'm so excited. Hey, is, is everything okay? You seem a little moving jittery? in place, yeah. <laughs> when am I, I'm not jittery. I'm, uh, it's just how my baseline is, I guess. I don't know. Oh. This was a really long day. We did a lot of stuff. Yeah, you're right. I mean, we've, we've been kept pretty busy. Yeah, gliders weren't a little bit out, otherwise she would be the um, video game character circle striping around the NPCs who are walking too <laughs> slow. Striping <laughs> y'all, walking too slow on this escort mission. Yeah, we're not even trying to. I don't know, Scarlet, do you have a car? Because you could just have a car. Y'all probably all have cars, whether you use them or not. Hmm. I have a motorcycle. It's weird to think about us having, like, regular vehicles, but yeah, none of us have super speed except for one of us, and then, like, the rest of us aren't able to, like, fly. Or I guess I can fly by throwing myself. You eat yourself. Yeah, but that's not <laughs> flying in a traditional sense. <laughs> No, it's flying creativity. Yeah, it's it's Crazy. flying. You can leap tall buildings in a single bound by throwing yourself over them. Yeah, in many ways, I can, <laughs> I can baseball swing myself into any <laughs> location I need to be in. But yeah, no, it's de it's definitely not like, I I I think I talked about Kid Phoenix having a motorcycle. I believe I've mentioned that. So yeah, he probably does not have it on him though. So you two have cool motorcycles. I definitely do not have a driver's license. No. You're a speedster. You don't need one. I don't need one. Also, that test is, like, so hard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I just, I had an image of, we've got, like, Scarlet and Kid Phoenix on their motorcycles with glider running between them. Yes. <laughs> That, that actually works out perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Or if needed, um, Scarlet and Kid Phoenix could just double up. Yeah. <laughs> I should get, like, a little sidecar and a little helmet. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. We can <laughs> add a little thing, and now we're, we have our little vehicle. We have two motorcycles <laughs> and one sidecar. And then we have to make sure we partition it correctly, but we can get anywhere we need to get. Exactly. <laughs> Without making glider have to run the whole time. Yeah, exactly. You get to conserve your energy. We're basically geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we have this combo on the way to your, your oh, place. Oh, 100%. Like... <laughs> 100%. It writes itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you guys have cars? Just, Just throwing that, myself. Like... Yeah. <laughs> Just, just a motorcycle. Yeah, the usual. Do you not? That's really cool. I guess you never really had to. Wait, is that weird of me to say that you've never had to drive? I don't. I guess you've never really told us when your power started. Oh yeah, it's been long enough. I've never really needed to drive, needed to do that, or worry about it, or okay. do any of that. Yeah, I just. Cool. Just go. Huh. I think it's even like two, three years that you had speed. Yeah. I was a, a high schooler. You say that like you didn't just graduate high school. <laughs> <Shh>. <laughs> I was a I looks around, like whispers, high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> but as a high schooler, it's gotta be hard to keep that secret identity and keep that speed under wraps. Mm -hmm. People don't know that it's you. Oh yeah, I think I did a really good job. Yeah. Sorry, me as the player couldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You couldn't even make it. Hey, Bethany, how long did it take everyone in your school to know? Uh, <laughs> probably like two months. <laughs> Honestly. How long did it take the rest of the cross country or track team to know? Oh, like immediately <laughs> because because she was not good at reining it in like at all at the That's start funny actually so she's just like yeah i practiced i'm good now 
Zoom. <laughs> Literally leaving scorch marks on the turf. Nothing to see here, just a lot of scorch marks. Not all heroes are super secretive about their identities. It's mostly just the pe the ones who are the janitors that are like, absolutely not, no one can know. No one can know. No, I need know. separation. I mean, I, I get it. I totally get it. So just keep ch chatting until you, you get to the bar you live above? Yeah. To get into my apartment, just because if I am out about in my superhero garb, <laughs> we have to go back around through the back alley, up a ladder two buildings down, Whoa. and then across the roof and into the roof entrance. <gasps> <laughs> Secret entrance. So we have to like jump down. Like they're they're attached, but they're like different levels. Oh, this Both is... only like one level each. So. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's not too bad. As we're like doing this, I'm just like so cool. It's so cool. <laughs> have your own place, you have your own secret entrance, it's so cool. <laughs> I've seen this before, but I still think I'm like, this is such a great place to live independently. Like if I didn't have a big, silly, like, super base that I inherited from my dad. This would be fantastic. I feel like Marcus and Madigan, y'all have had, like, a couple of game nights or something yeah. like that. Like, maybe, like, you invited Marcus over for a game night with some of your friends who you're... They may not realize this, who Marcus is, and I don't know if they particularly care about yeah. the Phoenix connection. They're just like, hey, you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like to believe that, like, in general, Marcus is able to keep it together for like game night, but after a while it's like, okay, I don't know how to talk about things that people in my age group would talk about, so I'm just gonna let other people talk for a while. <laughs> just like random comments here and there. Like, yeah, no, that is definitely similar to my lived experience. <laughs> I am also an average youth. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's something. Uh, that's definitely something he really struggles with is like how to generate the look of not being definitely not a regular teen. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is Madigan's friends probably thought you were super cool and aloof, <laughs> mysterious. Oh no, that's just like that's Marcus's whole deal is on the outside cool, aloof, mysterious. On the inside, boy, am I a bundle of insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> but he also brings the best snacks. It's so true. Everybody loves him. Yeah. Yeah. I work hard to to, to maintain. <laughs> brings them fancy snacks. And exactly. Yeah. The best way to make people like you is food. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. especially game nights. You need good snacks, and if you don't yes. have good snacks, it's a bad game night. For real. Please describe your apartment for us. Oh yes, <laughs> yes. yes, yes, please. <laughs> So we get in and it's like that typical, like if you're watching like one of those New York TV shows and they have emergency exit through the window is across the window. I don't usually go out that way unless it's an emergency, but out one of my windows, I have like this little cat bed thing that's got like kind of like a screen, but I can also like completely shut it. So Deg Duck can hang out in there when I'm not at home. So it's a one bedroom with like just a little office where I can have my computer stuff all in there when I need to work from home. And, it, and the living room is like this massive, big sectional couch full of like pillows and blankets. And on the walls is a f tons of nerdy stuff, like video game stuff, movie pictures, different cartoons and TV show stuff all over the place. But some like really cool random artwork too, like Starry Night. She really, really likes Vincent Van Gogh. So she's got a number of his prints randomly throughout the room. The TV is like 72 inches along the wall, like one wall and like a massive amount of tech, gaming, all that kind of stuff along underneath on like a little stand and just a tiny little kitchen nook with like tiny little breakfast nook table next to the little kitchen with two chairs and the whole house smells like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you ever smell when you walk in is coffee because if there's no coffee brewing, 
clearly I must be dying. <laughs> Something horrible so, has happened. Yeah. But there's lots of cat toys around the floor and then just big stacks of like board games in one corner. And I like games. I like tech. And then my bedroom is like this massive king size bed that's taking up almost the entire room. And just like my closet has just got tons of clothes thrown into it, barely touched. And most of the stuff that I do wear tends to be just jeans and general t-shirts. So. Oh. Yeah. Really paints a word picture. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Oh yeah, this is like the coolest place a glider's ever been in, ever. Just that it's your place and like you could do whatever you want. And I definitely live at home in my childhood bedroom that is neon purple and covered in like superhero posters. <laughs> nothing wrong with that you're you're just freshly out of high school so that's yeah, perfectly fine exactly y'all don't know y'all don't know y'all don't know yeah we don't oh yeah there, there's parts of your lore that we are not aware of this is correct yes yeah. that is true yeah <laughs> but i also immediately like cat where's your cat you have a cat right i get like a little whistle Ooh. and data comes running out of the bedroom <gasps> from curling up she's like this little like, she's full grown, but she's so small, and she's just short hair, but it's very poofy. Mm. And little white on the chest right here, little white right next to her nose, and these oh. really long whiskers and a really long tail. She's full grown. She'll never get any bigger, so she still looks like a half-grown cat. Oh. And she That's just kind of comes over and chirps. That's precious. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so cute. So that's Degda. She's friendly. She likes people. Does she like Marcus? Yes, have they, have she they developed? Loves Marcus. Okay, have Every they developed an understanding? Over, always on his lap. <laughs> oh, okay. I wanted to make sure Just that immediately is like rubbing up against Marcus, purring. Just a happy kitty. Oh, there you are, buddy. How's it going? Sees new person. <laughs> Stares at new person for a bit. <laughs> and then just comes up, starts rubbing around your legs as yeah. well, purring. Yes. You did it. Success. <laughs> she loves people. So regardless of who they are. Though she's got a very good tell hmm. on bad people. I've had a few dates where they ended up being horrible people, and she knew immediately. Oh, oh. and she knew. Interesting. Of course she knew. Do you want me to call down for the pizza? What flavors do you guys like? Yes, please, please. Oh, yeah, 100%. sorry. Yeah, whatever, whatever I want to get. What kind? I got a standing tab downstairs. Like a double supreme, like a double supreme stuffed crust. Better stomach just growls. Oh, oh yeah. No, I'm not too picky. That sounds pretty good, actually. I could <laughs> really do that. destroy a pizza right now in a non, in a non actually destroy kind of way. Like I want to eat it. I go into my kitchen, I've got like one of those old school rotary phones. That's the only reason I have it is just to call down to the bar. <laughs> so I pick it up, dial one, let it ring, it rings twice. I'm like, hey, it's me. Can you uh, bring up a double supreme stuffed crust pizza? Extra large, yeah. Okay, hey, thanks. I hang it back up at 10 minutes. My face falls, cause that's so long. That's such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> It's actually fantastic turnaround time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, you are all currently standing around in your superhero getup. I will allow if you'd like to like have a bag. Y'all can have like have a bag with you to change. Hmm. I do take out my little canvas bag and I switch into civilian clothes, but I keep on the same jacket because I'm not really going anywhere. I just like duck into the bathroom. Yeah. Well, I'll be right back, and I just jump into my room, close the door quick. Two minutes later, I come out, a pair of like bright purple leggings and like a black baggy tank top that hangs halfway to my knees. And just my hair up in like this big messy bun. No mask or anything. Yeah. Cause Marcus has like the super boy hair. So it's like the nice dark curls or whatever. So I think there's, no there's nothing you can really do with it. It just stays the way it is. But he does have like a fun shirt, or at least a shirt he thinks it's fun, and it's the cat 
hanging from the tree and it says hang in there. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah. Yeah. So. In the few minutes where like you go to your bedroom and Kid Phoenix goes to the bathroom, by the time y'all come back, I have also changed. Mm-hmm. And I am very much wearing comfy track pants and a t-shirt from my high school <laughs> with the name of the high school on it. <laughs> oh, wow. You should not carry that around. Yeah. <gasps> oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, I was just thinking t-shirt. I mean, it's fine here. We're like pretty low yeah, you're, on the... Yeah, you're fine here. Yeah, uh, like, but maybe, just in but general. You leave, put your jacket on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, whoops. Surprise, I went to public school. Ah. <laughs> so did I. Oh, I... Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it sounds like it was cool. I, I think a lot of people say it was bad. Uh, it depends on, depends on the day. Okay. Time of year, where you're at, what city, class. what neighborhood, class, yeah. That seems pretty involved, yeah. <laughs> okay. Just sort of nodding along, like, yes, I, I'm familiar with public school and its trials. <laughs> public school is its own, is a trial in of itself. Yeah. I look over at Glider, I'm like, so my name is Madigan. Hi, Madigan. And I am quite literally just a giant nerd, if you haven't figured it out and I point towards the office where the door is wide open and it's a computer with four screens set up and it's like glowing slightly like a dark purple light underneath like the, the keyboard and around the screens and stuff. Yeah, every additional monitor actually improves your mental health by like a set amount. Yeah. <laughs> Being a nerd is super in so that just makes you cooler so... <laughs> Also, I like, you see all my nerdy tattoos all around my, oh. like, all down my arms. I want to say that Marcus has, like, asked for advice for tattoos and is just very indecisive. So he's like, should I get this one? He's just never After, able like, to After, like, my third one, I just like, ooh, that's cool, and I get yeah. it. I, I want to be there <laughs> where your brain is at, that you can just make a decision. And I just kind of stare blankly. <laughs> You'll get there. Just get your first couple and you'll be fine. Okay, okay. Oh, but what if it's like weird with my imp? No, I shouldn't think about that. I should think about what I want. Yeah, I'm a little torn up because I'm like, I don't want to mess with my image, but I also want one. Yeah, I can't uh, I can't sit st- I can't sit in a chair that long for that. I mean, they're really cool. They're super cool. But just think, not my thing. Do you think there's like a speedster that does tattoos? What? That would be great. I wonder if there is. We'd have to look into that. We could ask at the school. GM question. (laughs) Yeah. I think Marcus knows my name because I definitely accidentally introduced myself. Yeah, I believe I believe that part is is true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't remember if Madigan knows my name. Madigan does not. Yeah. And I think I just kind of like just there in my little like (laughs) what's our dumb high school mascot? The wombats or oh, something. Love, it. love a good wombat. <laughs> the West Side wombats, wombats are amazing. <laughs> West Side wombats. Oh, that's good. Classic. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm. My name's Bethany. And I kind of finger guns at Marcus, and I'm like, you already knew that, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, since we're doing it, uh, my name's Marcus. That's like public record, though. Yeah. It's not super exciting, but yeah, my name's Marcus. I wear shirts that I think are fun. That's a civilian fact about me. That shirt is fun. You think so? I, I, everyone, you're, I think the first person who's said a positive statement about it. People don't get your sense of humor. That's a neutral statement, so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a knock on the door. Oh. <gasps> Good yeah. job. I'll go get it. Open the door. They give, just hand me a big really big box. Huge, huge yeah. pizza. Heck yeah. Thank you. I'll settle up my tab on Friday. Sounds good. Close the door, put it on my little table, flip it open, grab some plates. Help yourself, guys. Yes, and yes. I've got just about anything in the fridge. Juice, pop, some energy drinks. 
coffee if you want it. They put like extra toppings on the pizza and got gave like extra like a little extra thing of like dipping sauce. Oh yes. Yes. They're the, they're the real ones. They know. Oh, I also have ranch if you want any of that to dip your crust. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I grab the ranch and just squirt into a little little container because I like dipping my crust in ranch. Hmm? I'm trying to think if because I know we've gone out for like boba and we've gone out for pizza before. I'm trying to should think if I ate like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't yeah, have to public. here, right? You don't. I can just imagine you being like a little squirrel. Yeah, like that's, that's really held in place. Yeah. <laughs> just like yeah. a like a typewriter, just. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> As you all sit down and eat, Dig is just gonna like basically circle around, like snuggle up to one person, go snuggle up to someone else, just do like a circle around. So snuggly. <laughs> Doing the rounds. Yeah. Yeah, no, she is a big snuggler. <laughs> I will wake up some mornings because, so my hair is like poofy. It's like so curly and gets like so frizzy if I don't tame it. So when I'm sleeping, she literally will curl up in my hair. So when I turn Aww. over, I, I can't because she's in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> she just goes with you and you end up with the cat flopped on your face. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> but yeah, no. Snuggle up. Enjoy. She loves it. I gave her some some much appreciated pets. Yes. <laughs> I'm just like chomping away on this pizza. I've already eaten like two pieces. And I'm just like, I'm pretty sure if I got a pet, I would have to get like a greyhound or a whippet or some kind of really, you know, energetic dog. Huskies. Huskies need a lot of energy. What's a whippet? They're like little bitty greyhounds. Oh. Like, like you just took one and shrunk it down. That sounds cool. I think. You could have my Aussie doodle. Oh man. You could keep up with you. Oh man, it'd be it'd be cool if I had like a like a bird with psychic powers. And that could be my bird sidekick. Sorry, continue your relevant conversation. <laughs> <laughs> So I was just imagining he had like a cool bird psychic and he also had a little mask. Oh, I could put a little oh mask God, on a bird. so cute. Oh, that'd be great. I would love I would love to put a little mask on a bird. Like a like a hawk or a, a falcon. Oh, uh, if I had a hawk, I could train. Wait, no. Shouldn't train a hawk to take out people's eyes. That's probably a little messed up. It's probably, you probably. Yeah. yeah should probably I think you not. need some kind of bird husbandry license. To yeah. do that. To remove eyes? No, to have to a keep, to dangerous keep bird. Like that. Oh, oh, that yeah. makes a lot more sense what you said. <laughs> to remove eyes. I will reference Animorphs. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Oh my god, Animorphs. Oh, that's amazing. That series was so messed up. It didn't belong in the children's section. Oh man, speaking of That's conversations that are going to get cut. Yeah, I, I Animorphs is great. I will always think it's praises. It's such an interesting uh, children's series for what it does. <laughs> the show is great. Yeah. This is like a canon conversation. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. we go on a pizza tangent about yeah. Animorphs. Yeah. 100%. You have been listening to Queen City Supers, a graveyard tape side story using the game Masks. Masks, a new generation, is a superhero role-playing game in which a team of young heroes fights villains, saves lives, and tries to figure out who they are. Featuring Caitlin as Madigan, aka Scarlet Sentinel, the Janus. Jess as Bethany Bertolucci, aka Glider, the Beacon. Ian as Marcus, aka Kid Phoenix, the Doomed, and Brianna Jean as the Keeper and Producer. 